Seeing Hawaii's delicate habitats has tentatively agreed to pay a $600,000 fine for pollution. State health officials say the Department of Land and Natural Resources has been discharging undertreated wastewater into Kaneohe Bay for years. Rick Daysog reports. The state health department says that between 2015 and 2020, its inspections found that the measures of bacterial levels in the wastewater from the Heiakea Pier exceeded allowable levels 62 times. The violations were partly due to the harbor's 32-year-old wastewater treatment system, which the DLNR and its Boating and Recreation Division have been trying to replace for years. It is a monumental breach on the part of the DLNR and DOBAR for allowing this to, these conditions to exist in, for so long. Kaneohe Bay is a popular spot for commercial fishermen, tour boats, and ocean recreation. But it's also an important nursery for fish and other wildlife. We rely on the bay for recreation, for food, for subsistence. And I'm flabbergasted, actually. It's, it's, it's preposterous that something like this would happen. After a lengthy investigation, the health department and the DLNR staff have reached a tentative settlement with the DLNR paying a $600,000 fine. The state land board will vote on the deal on Friday. As part of the proposed settlement, the state will be required to install a new wastewater treatment plant, and that's not going to be cheap. Back in 2018, the DLNR says it received $1 million to build a new plant, but the bid submitted exceeded that amount. Last year, state lawmakers gave the department $3 million for a new plant. The procurement process is now underway. A new wastewater treatment plant has already been planned and CIP funds have been allocated, and yet there were still delays. Deal and our officials declined comment before Friday's board meeting. Rick Daysog, Hawaii News Now.